फाइव इजी वेज टू क्योर थाइरॉइड डिजॉर्डर नेचुरली एंड परमानेंटली राइट फ्रॉम द रूट कॉज मेनी पेशेंट्स हैव टू टेक दैट थाइरॉइड मेडिसिन दिस गोज ऑन इयर्स इन इयर्स विद नो चेंजेस और फ्यू चेंजेस इन दैट थाइरॉइड प्रोफाइल टेस्ट एट द एज ऑफ 20 एंड 22 patients have to start with their thyroid medicine and all that they know is that they are going to require this thyroid medicine for the rest of their life for the rest of their life the next 80 100 120 years they are going to have the side effects of the thyroid medicine does ayurved have any role in treating such metabolic disorders does ayurved play any role The answer is yes. Ayurved helps in curing these conditions right from the root cause. There are beautiful treatments, procedures, remedies, tips, diet, yoga, pranayam explained for fighting against this problem, curing this from the root cause wherein without any external source, without any external drug, the thyroid gland starts working properly and the same time as you know that thyroid disorder is autoimmune disease. the person's immunity has to be strong strength has to be increased so ayurved takes care of the immunity as well as the thyroid gland starts working properly without any external source so out of all those treatments today i'll be sharing a couple of treatments a couple of tips with all of y'all which will help you in preventing curing this condition and will help you in the long term so do like and share this video further if you find this information useful So namaste everyone welcome back to Jovis Thyroid gland is one of the most important and sensitive endocrine gland it easily responds to stress and this is the reason that the rate of thyroid disorders are increasing every single day what's the main function of this thyroid gland the main function is to produce thyroid hormones triiodothyronine T3 and thyroxine which is T4 it also produces calcitonin which plays a role in calcium homeostasis it also has a function to control the rate of metabolism now any impairment of the thyroid gland leads to two conditions hypothyroidism hyperthyroidism out of this hypothyroidism is more common fortunately ayurved recognizes this condition and has beautiful solutions for this condition the symptoms of hypothyroidism because it's more common let's talk about hypothyroidism the symptoms often mimic the symptoms of other diseases it is often misdiagnosed undiagnosed or the patient doesn't feel like he should do a thyroid profile test he ignores it the symptoms like weight gain cold intolerance hot flushes mood swings vertigo menstrual cramps or menstrual irregularities you know all these are some of the symptoms of hypothyroidism what is the cause let's understand the root cause so out of the three doshas the vat pit kaf mainly the kaf dosh is responsible once the kaf dosh is vitiated it further causes the depletion of ojas out of the seven dhatus the rasa rakta mas med asti maja shukra ojas is the sar bhag the useful part the superior part present in every dhatu right from rasa dhatu to the shukra dhatu it is the essence of all the dhatus and once this ojas is affected the body's own immune system attacks the thyroid glands which further causes depletion in the thyroid function and body's metabolism so the whole treatment should be in such a way that the qualities of kapha dosh has to be reduced the qualities of kapha dosh it is manda which is dullness or you can say guru which is heaviness so such a treatment which reduces the manda gun the guru gun as well as the one which has a lekhan karya the scraping effect on the body is very useful in providing results in such cases also if we clearly see that 5000 years ago there was no direct description about thyroid given in the samhitas but there was a disease called as galgandha which was explained in the samhitas the first description of this next swelling is found in the atharva veda by the name of apachi acharya charak who is the father of medicine he has described about the 20 varieties of shleshma vikar acharya shushrut who is the father of surgery explains that out of the seven layers of the skin the sixth layer which is the rohini is the rogadistan of this galgandha 
and in simple words if we talk then this disease or this gall ganda can be correlated to goiter or tumor pathology but remember hypothyroidism is not a localized disease the symptoms are present all over the body so the treatment should be in such a way that all the symptoms of the patient should be decreased at the same time the tsh levels should come in control it should be reduced and without any external source the tsh levels should be normal and they should be maintained in that normal state that is the entire motive of the treatment moving on to the treatment we'll divide it into five parts extremely important points and many patients require the name of the medicine rather than lifestyle modification so let us begin with the medications number 1 many proprietary medicines classical medicines are very useful here number 1 activate india tablet sli c med and syrup sli c med two tablets twice a day 3 to 4 teaspoon of syrup mixed with 3 to 4 teaspoon of water two times a day extremely beneficial for such condition it has herbs present in extract form herbs like shuddha gugul shivajit varuna kanchanar nagarmoda erandamol out of which kanchanar is one of the most effective medicine there are various researches done on this particular herb which is kanchanar for fighting against thyroid disorder so kanchanar present in extract form in such medicines tablet syrup sli c med as you all know thyroid disorder is autoimmune disease the patient's immunity has to be increased hence immunomodulators like tablet nutri g med and syrup nutri y are extremely beneficial again herbs present in extract form herbs like bala ashwagandha shatavari kavaj beej musli all of this present in extract form very useful in fighting against this condition second point very very important is external application what you can use an external source that will attack this condition very useful kanchanar gugul second one option is tablet sleesi med you simply have to crush this kanchanar gugul or sleesi med tablets crush these tablets make it into fine powder and while you are taking your bath you know put water and then for the next 20 to 30 minutes take 1 teaspoon of this powder and rub it all over the anterior part of your neck for the next 20 to 30 minutes you'll see a changes in your tsh levels in the next few months extremely beneficial for such condition if you cannot make such in tablets into powder form simply you can take vacha churna or vekhanda churna so vacha churna which is vekhanda churna again it has a lekhan kari or scraping effect and also vacha is said as medhya as a brain tonic so when you scrub such vacha powders over your skin it has an impact on your mind as well because prajak pitta one of the type of pitta is present in your skin so it has a relation extremely beneficial we've spoken about this in the video of udvartan udvartan you can go through that video i'll put the link in the description box vacha kanchanar gugul sleesi med any one of this over your neck to add on for best results you can use besan ka atta which is flour all over your body for udvartan purpose as we spoke in our udvartan video do follow extremely beneficial tip you can do it at home on a regular basis moving further to the next tip panchakarma panchakarma is the answer to most of the chronic most of the incurable diseases vaman virechan basti nasya rakta moksha extremely beneficial but all of these five procedures are always advised to be done under an authentic ayurvedic doctor's guidance but out of these five one which is nasya can be done at home we spoken about nasya in the video and i'll put that video in the description box the procedure is explained in detail you can do it at home it is said that nasa hi shirsu dwaram nose is the doorway of the head and right now the modern science has found out that nose is the doorway of the head but this was said by acharya bagbat 5000 years ago nasya every day early in the morning two drops in both nostril which is pratimarsha type of nasya pratimarsh that nasya which can be done on regular basis and is extremely beneficial in all ways fourth tip is the tip that only if you follow this tip you will be cured you will be able to fight against this problem your immunity will be boosted and this fourth tip it's ujjayi pranayam ujjayi pranayam helps in connecting your mind with your soul extremely beneficial for your thyroid gland you can rule out this condition you know you can rule out this condition if you are doing it on a regular basis we'll speak about this you know uh, ujjayi pranayam in detail in some other video for now you can just type on youtube how to do ujjayi pranayam you'll get all your answers 
do it on a regular basis very very important for even more results or even more benefits you can do surya namaskar 5 to 10 rounds early in the morning on an empty stomach last but not the least fifth point very important is the diet for all the metabolic disorders be it diabetes be it hypertension be it thyroid disorder if you want to reverse such condition the secret is calorie deficit always be calorie deficit what is this calorie deficit firstly go on www.jovis.com you'll find a free calorie calculator put basic info age weight exercise time and you'll get the number of calories that you require always eat less calories than you require in 24 hours i always say the less you eat is the more you live always eat lesser than your hunger at least keep this point in your mind that when you eat less than your hunger you are going to be healthy you have to keep some part for the three doshas this is said in ayurved also chew your food for 32 times once you start practicing this it is going to help you in the long term for melting all the fat or for weight loss for increasing your immunity there are various benefits we have spoken about this many many times first find out how many calories you require and be calorie deficit especially for thyroid disorder avoid alcohol avoid cabbage avoid coffee avoid cauliflower four foods you must avoid instead increase the intake of iodine rich foods i'll put some of the iodine rich foods in the description box you can check out those foods add more of those foods in your day to day life five effective tips that will help you in curing this condition right from the root cause out of which the last two the ujjayi pranayam and the diet will help you the most in the next 3 and a half or 4 months if you follow these five tips you are going to see the changes in your tsh levels and this is how ayurvedic treatment works there are various procedures out of which vaman virachan and basti have great great benefits but those can be done under a doctor's guidance we want to create such kind of impact that without a doctor's guidance as well you should be able to manage metabolic disorders you should not have any kind of diabetes hypertension cholesterol or any kind of thyroid disorders five very important tips practice udvartan practice ujjayi pranayam practice uh, you know more of this chewing every bite 32 times including iodine rich foods and decreasing or ruling out the foods the four foods that we spoke about any doubts any questions do connect with us write them down in the comment section do like this video share it further until next time from jovis and the team look impressive be progressive